Okay, we're going right down the line here. Um, I'm just trying to go right down the code one piece at a time and add these new pieces in and hopefully it'll all make sense in the end. Okay, I'm at the um, set message um, function. Okay, and this is the set message function is the little box that slides over and then you've got to click on the the next button and each time you do you get little messages like welcome to the shooting gallery you have one minute or you know you have uh, in this case 30 seconds now but we could change that later and then um, right there on the um, on the third message we set the reload depth and we attach the reload um, button and uh, we, we attach the reload button and we place it and then we call the reload game function which gives us our um, buttons I mean gives us our bullets and then right after that we're gonna add another piece when we click to um, reload our gun and, and when we start up our game we're also going to reset the scoreboard okay so I call reset scoreboard here and I need to open and close parentheses and a semicolon okay reset um, scoreboard let me make sure I've got that correct I do alright and then um, we're gonna go down here to case 4 and the message um, is where we turn on our game okay and then we increment the message state so now the message state will be set to 5 so the game is started the message state remains at 5 um, alright and now we're going to put in the message for five. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say, let's see here. We're going to set the we're going to reset the button. So to do that, I'm going to say message underscore mc dot inner. Message underscore MC dot next whoops next underscore BTN for the next button dot on press um, equals a function. Okay, um, so basically I'm 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 setting the button to the next button for something. Um, special equals a function open and close um, parentheses and then I'm gonna go to the next line open curly brace two lines down close curly brace and remember I have word wrap on here so this just wrapped over to the next line here so it's dot on press space equals uh, space a function right and this is gonna set our next button and what we're gonna do is we'll say message state equals Two, and then we'll set the message okay and then what we're gonna do is automatically copy paste set the message state equal to four and then set the message and so what we're doing is we're kind of bypassing we're very quickly allowing case two which will um, reload our gun and then case four which will fire, turn on our game so we don't go through the, all those steps again right so this is for when we want to restart the game essentially what's happening here and then the last thing we want to do is I'm gonna say message I'm gonna highlight this copy and outside of this button function notice I'm it's after this curly brace right right before the break I'm going to say message underscore MC, then go into inner message underscore MC, but this time go to um, message underscore TXT dot text equals, and I'm going to send a message to the user saying, you ran out of time. Okay. With an exclamation point, and then uh, why not or why don't you try again okay 
So I send the message like, you ran out of time, why don't you try again? All right, and, um, and that's going to go into the message box that's inside of inner message MC, which is inside of message underscore MC, right? And that's the dot syntax, right? So um, this is the child and parent and then a parent, right? Type of thing. All right, and um, now remember what I talked about with scope and variables? Well, right here, before the game on function, we're gonna, I'm going to put uh, two things that uh, allow the scope to uh, expand here. Now, I'm not sure if we passed on time. No, we passed on level, score, and win points, which we're getting passed on, but not time. So right before the game on function, I'm going to say time equals zero. Notice I'm right here. I'm not inside a function. I'm saying time equals zero. And then time allotment equals 30. And I'm not sure if we're going to need that eventually at all, but I'm putting it out there right before the game on function because I, I wanted to make sure I had access to it, and I think I was having some problems getting access to it with scope and variables. So um, crosshair on, we've got our gun interval, right? And I'm going to set a new interval here, and it's going to be called time interval equals set interval. And we're going to call a function clock tick, which we haven't written yet. And that's going to happen every 1,000 milliseconds or one second, okay? So this will be our timer. So this is going to um, set up a um, timer with an interval where we call this function clock tick once every second, all right? And when we do that, we're going to be needing, um, you know, the time allotment and the time type stuff, right? Um, and um, I'm going to get rid of this gun on, which we, we've solved by putting it into the gun interval, which, which helped things out. And, and then I added one other piece here, and I'll show it to you. And I'm not sure why I did it right now. I don't remember. But it seemed to help. And when game is on, I'm going to say reload underscore MC, the reload movie clip, right? Um, dot on release equals reload gun. And I think that helped at some point so that we set, when the game goes on, we set up the reload button capability so that we can reload our gun when we click on that reload button. All right, I'm going to stop there. And we are at the crosshair function, which um, is good. We're not going to work on that. So I'm going to scroll over here to the play game function, and we'll, we'll start from here next time.